got close to a first down. Nine and a half yard sweet moss. We ran out of the overload set. We had twin receivers on one side. We also had Chavez Job on the right side. So we had power to the right, ran the sweep to the right, and Charlie Moss did a good job picking his way in there for good yardage. That was his 75th carry of this season. Lebanon needs a half a yard for a first down. They're inside Warren County's 40. Three, take it, run a straight down the rows, across the 40 to the 38, maybe to the 37, we run a straight dive. Our line blew them off the line of scrimmage and we got to the 37 and a half first down. Steve Rose in the backfield, Charles Moss back there, Tony Cantrell and Jade Sellers will also see action. All four backs share almost equal time in the backfield, Lebanon in that overload once again. Unbalanced over here to the right. Take it, run an option, pitch it. Moss, Moss outside, 45. Cuts it in on the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. Down somewhere, I'm trying to find a marker. He's inside the five. I think he's close to the two or three. We run the option back to the weak side. Moss carried that football to the two yard line. Carry great run from scrimmage by the senior tailback, Charlie Moss. He started at the 38. He finally has run out of bounds. It looks like at Warren County's two. That's 36 yards for Charlie Moss. First down and goal for Lebanon. Ball on a two-yard line. Lebanon's in a power eye left. Power eye left. Two tight ends. Take the ball. Hand off Rose. Touchdown. Rose just scored his 12th touchdown of the year as he pounded it in and Lebanon leads six to nothing. We, we set the night in Lebanon's cheering section, and they lead six to nothing. Yeah, if we have a good game here tonight, Bruce, uh, Mark's going to want us to stay here all season, stay, yeah. in the, stay in the bleachers. Well, he may want us to, but I'm not sure we're going to do it. <laughs> Atwood will snap it to Reeder for Triplett. Reeder holds, puts it down, Triplett kicks it, and I think he missed it. Yes, he did. He kicked it to the right. No good. Six to nothing back in 30 seconds. Hello, I'm Allison Parker. And I'm Tina Reeves. And we're at Piggly Wiggly with Mr. Odell Bain to make a small presentation. On behalf of the Blue Devil Booster Club, LHS cheerleaders, coaches, players, and fans, we'd like to say thank you for your support and also present to you a souvenir stadium cushion as a token of our appreciation. Thank you very much. This is just a small part that we can do for the Lebanon Blue Devils possession of the ball game going 69 yards in six plays Steve Rose carried it in from the two for the touchdown the extra point was no good 356 left in the first quarter Lebanon leading Warren County six to nothing and Atwood will kick off from the 40 on the right hash mark he comes forward and kicks it high and deep that one will sail down to the five 10 15 20 24 25 yard line Return in that football, number 32 for Warren County. Took it on about the five, brought it all the way to the 25, 20 yard return. Here's our officials tonight out of Cookville. Mac Huddleston, Randy Kidd, Mike Lynn, Jim Ward, Robert Dalton, Johnny Taylor. Huddleston, the referee. Kid the umpire, headlinesman Lynn, Ward the back judge, Dalton the line judge, and electric clock operator is Taylor. Quarterback is Elrod, number 12. Fullback, I think, is 10, and that's Christian. They got a split in wide to the left and flanker of the right pass over the middle. Incomplete. It was hit by one of our linemen, and I think it was Kevin Hasty. Hasty hit the ball in a line of scrimmage and batted it down something like Galton did to us last week all week. Lebanon's defensive lineman may be taking a cue from those Galton guys when you can't get penetration you can't get depth in the backfield just get tall try to get up and get a get in that passing angle for the quarterback Kevin AC knocked it down it's second down and 10 Elrod brings them to the line puts an end to the left split in takes the ball drops back to pass looks pass out in the flat caught he's up to the 30 he's across the 30 across the 35 to the 39 he shot a man out of the backfield Hitting with a pass, Lee Jordan. 
Lee Jordan caught the football and just got a lot of yardage on his own. Carried it for a first down to the 39. Terry, what about Elrod throwing the football so far this game? Tommy, that was his third completion out of six attempts. That one went for 14 yards and a first down. He's three of six for 36 yards. Ball on the 39, and it's first down and 10. First and 10, and Warren County stays with that same set. Flanker and a split in and an eye set. Take the ball, run a pitch, and here we came, and we missed him, and then he got outside at the 40 and crossed the 40, and the fans went in front of us, and we didn't see where he got to. He got to the 42 or 3 and got about four yards. They put it on a 43, four-yard pickup. Looked like he wanted to go left, went back to the right, and got four. Kind of a play out of our page book. The Redskins looked, they pulled the line and came toward the near side, and the running back decided to go the other way. Steve Rose returns to the lineup for Lebanon. Zach Greer comes out. Ball is on a 43, second and six. Take the ball, run a dive to the fullback, and he got stood straight up and hammered by Rose and I think Adams, maybe Sellers was even there. Man, he got stood straight up. They hand in that football to number 10, and it would be Christian, the fullback, but he didn't get anything. It's third and nine, or check it. It's third and six on the 44. Warren County dressed in blue. Blue helmets, silver britches, and led in all white. Quarterback, Elrod takes it, drops back to pay, setting the screen up over wide open. Caught 45, he got a first down, I think, on the 50. Got knocked out of bounds in our territory on the 49. They set that screen up very well. Ron C. and I think it was Sellers that knocked him out of bounds. Maybe Mo Thompson was there too, but they set the screen up very well, Tommy. Did a good job with the tight end the screen, Bruce. They ran Andy Evans, the tight end, over here in the flat. Straight drop back pass, drawing the defense to the quarterback, Elrod. He flips it over here for decent yardage, Terry. Another eight yards of that reception by Evans. First down, Warren County on Lebanon's 48. I sit split in left and flanker right. Elrod calling signals, Lebanon in a 50. They take it and pitch it, and here comes her in. And Adams is bringing him down back on a 45. Troy Adams, our in shot through, knocked him down for a four-yard loss, maybe five-yard loss, all the way back to the 45 and a half. He lost five. They're going to have to check Troy's fingernails after that tackle. I'm sure he's got a lot of blue jersey up under the up under those fingernails. He was holding on for dear life and got him to the ground pretty much with one hand. It's second down and 15 and a half. The ball's on the 45 and a half, and there's less than a minute to go in the first quarter. Lebanon needs six to nothing. Lebanon and a 50, take the ball back to pace. Elrod looking, long pass over the middle. Flag on the play. Interference, two flags on the play. Interference on our corner, Bill Garrett. That'll be a 15-yard penalty. That'll be close to a first down. Now, of course, this is not college, but in college, that might not be a penalty because they would rule that an uncatchable ball, a ball that nobody had a play on, but the high school rule is different. And Bill and the wide receiver got a little tangled up going for the football, so the mark-off against the Blue Devils, Terry. Tommy, their first penalty... It's a 15-yard penalty, goes from Warren County, 46, down to the 11 and 39, where they say it's first down, Warren County. First down on a 39, Lebanon and Warren County. At the moment, we lead six to nothing. And official, I think it's Mike Huddleston. He's going to take number 10 to the sideline. And while he's taking to the sideline, they are bringing another fullback. Evidently, equipment adjustment or that could be what you call the blood rose. That is, it? Bruce. They're working on his elbow. Apparently, Christian skinned his elbow, and when they've got a blood flow in a TSSAA event, that player leaves until you can stop that flood of blood. Flood, <laughs> flow of blood. Well, Warren County was moving over here on the left. That'll be a five-yard penalty. He got started. The left end was moving. I think it should be five-yard penalty, Warren County. We'll take it back from 39, back to the 44 with 43 seconds in the first quarter. We broadcast from the bleachers in Warren County. Six to nothing, Lebanon. 
John uh, down on the sideline, just keep an eye on, on Lebanon's defense. See if you can pick up that key that Moscadelli and, and Adams, the defensive ends, seem to have spotted and are trying to call out before every spot, giving those hand signals before the snap. Le uh, Warren County comes out of the huddle, 43 seconds in the quarter. First down, 15. Take it, sweep. Sweep outside. He has to cut it back in, and man, he got hit, and then got knocked down. That was Rose that hit him first, and then Adams helped him. Steve Rose, our linebacker, knocks him down somewhere around the 47. Our linebacker was stunting right to the play. They'll actually move the ball up to forward progress to the 46. Passing situation, second down and long yardage, about 15 or 16 yards for the first. Into the lineup comes a pass rush specialist, John Bryson. Out goes Ryan Alds, a sophomore. So that defensive front, we've got Bryson, Cantrell, Hasty, those middle three. And the first quarter will come to a close before this play gets started. So it's second down and 17. Our first quarter has ended. Let me Hello, I'm Felicia Baum, and I'm head of school. And we are here at TRW Commercial Steering with Mr. Jim Mills and Mr. Ken Codwell to present to you a small presentation. On behalf of the Blue Devil Booster Club, LHS cheerleaders, coaches, players, and fans, we would like to say thank you for your support and present to you a souvenir stadium cushion as a token of our appreciation. Well, thank you. And on behalf of TRW, I'd like to wish the Blue Devils the best of luck this year. Thank you. Back at Warren County, Lebanon leads Mac Warren County by a score of six to nothing. After 12 minutes of play, Lebanon's defense has got Warren County in a sizable hole. Second down and 15, 17 yards to go. Tommy Bryan, Bruce Skeen, Terry Stafford. John Bryan down on the field, and believe it or not, the Bruce's chair, chair gave up the ghost. Of course, that's Terry Stafford's <laughs> chair. For the record, that is Stafford's chair, or what's left of it. Well, that's a great chair. That's probably intentional, wasn't it? There is Back to pass, Warren County throws it over the middle, and now we got all kinds of follow-ups. Incomplete. Incomplete trying to run a screen. That's a great cherry cherry bro. <laughs> the, the best I could do, Bruce. And, and and boy, the Blue Devil fans jump right to Bruce's defense. They've got blankets yeah, and boxes they, and Yeah, I don't care what people say. They like you. Yeah. So far. <laughs> Third down and long for Warren. What can we get behind? Okay. Six to nothing. Screen pass incomplete. Back to pass, looking long pass, way down the sideline. He had him open, incomplete. Tommy, he had got behind our corner, and the pass was overthrown. That could have been a touchdown. John, down to you on the field. Tommy, as far as that key on the offensive line, I, I believe our defensive ends are looking at the splits when the uh, when the uh, tackles and the ends split out a little bit wider. And look for the sweep or the option and the tight splits they're going to pass the ball. So the two hands up in the air means pass, one hand up in the air means sweep or option. Fourth down, about 16. Warren County got a punt. Mo Thompson deep, we almost blocked it. Then we roughed the kicker. Then the referee waved it off. And then he said, now it's a penalty. And it rolled all the way inside the five. Well, Tommy, he waved it off and then he threw his flag. Now what do we got? Apparently, Mac Huddleston thought originally that our man was blocked into the kicker, but in hindsight, he reaches into that back pocket, throws the flag, fourth down. Well, he started lost. out saying no, right. and then he pulled his flag out. That is not going to be a first down unless it's automatic, I don't think. He's still going to be short of the first down. It John, should be fourth down. No, it must be an automatic first down. John Bryson was the apparently guilty party on that play. John didn't lay out. He was kind of vertical as he came in and made lush contract with Clay Chambers, the punter. Warren well. County's going to take a timeout, so with 1140, to go in the second quarter, Warren County's gonna get regrouped. Lebanon leads by a score of six to nothing. Hello, I'm Amy Rapture. And I'm Brandy Trescott.